Um, we have got about 15 minutes, and I want to discuss um, one of your good friends. Uh, we've got this uh, Stand the Man Foundation coming up in, in, uh, in July, and that's how I met Chris, because of his involvement, and he was uh, in Stan's uh, group, third group of Special Forces. And about 10 years ago, I was introduced to uh, Stan's twin brother, Steve Harriman. Mm -hmm. And Steve sent me this letter about what he wanted to do with, uh, with the golf tournament. He wanted to do something in honor of his brother, but also to raise money for... Um, um, you know, for special forces families and and for soldiers, and it's it's been a wonderful thing, and it, and it starts. Uh, we're going to have it again this year in July, July eighth and ninth. Ninth is the golf tournament. The eighth, we're dinner. having a dinner before, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to talk about that too. Now, Chris, you knew Stan, and uh, Stan was the first special forces soldier from Fort Bragg uh, that was killed in this uh, in Afghanistan. That's correct. And that seems like, uh, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but that was back in, in 2002? That's correct. March yeah. 2nd of 2002. Now, we talked a little bit about it, but it was it was called Operation Anaconda, and, and you were telling me about this, which, what this is what I find uh, interesting. You know, you travel in groups of 12, but you're really responsible for training some of the Afghan troops, and they were, they were with you that day, right? That's correct. We had about 350 Afghan troops that were uh, going into the operation with us. Yeah. And we had actually two Special Forces teams controlling that element, one from 5th Special Forces Group and then our team from 3rd Special Forces Group. Right. Did you have any idea how many troops you would come up against? Did they have an idea of where? We were getting intel streams that were mentioning numbers anywhere between 500 and 800 troops. Mm. Uh, from what we saw for the two weeks we were out there, I would estimate probably about 600 600 uh, enemies fighters were in that area. Mm. That operation was actually a very large operation. There were other soldiers that were injured, both U.S. and Afghan, uh, but he was the uh, only fatality from from the special forces teams that were out there. Did you know Stan a long time? I guess when you're in a small group like that, you guys are... I had known guys. Stan for about three or four years mm -hmm. by that time. No. Uh, originally, when I got to our company, uh, Alpha Company of 3rd Battalion, he was on a different team, but he saw how well our team operated and really was impressed by the professionalism of our team. So he requested to be transferred to our team, and he was transferred to our team in uh, April of 2001. Yeah. That's got to be difficult when you lose one of your teammates. and um, yeah, Absolutely. You he, know, he was I, definitely a very integral part of the team. Yeah. Uh, being the chief warrant officer, He's a former enlisted man who's been, you know, quasi-commissioned now as an officer, but he is considered the subject matter expert of the team who knows special forces better than anyone else other than perhaps the team sergeant. And his whole role is to uh, mentor that young team leader, that captain, uh, how to be a team leader, how to be a good special forces captain. That's his whole role, as well as providing all the intelligence uh networks and stuff that the team uses when they're on the ground in combat so mm -hmm. a lot of responsibility and he was very good at what he did yeah. they actually call him stan the man right absolutely stan the man mm -hmm. and uh you know he was a huge dale earnhardt fan so and i was a jeff gordon van so there was a lot of uh ribbon going on there yeah. a lot of a lot of <laughs> you know pranks and sure. jokes going back and forth so yeah, yeah. Well, his, uh, his brother's done a great job with the foundation, um, uh, and Steve, Steve Harriman, uh, who works at one of the local hospitals here in town, and uh, we've had some great responses to the golf tournament. The money raised goes to families, and uh, Steve was just telling me the other day uh, that at Christmas they did a secret Santa, and they gave right. away tons of gifts to, yep. to, and to the families of soldiers that were killed in action, right. and also a Wounded Warriors uh, Association they've been working closely with to provide funds for those families right. as well. Sure have. So it really is a great cause and it's uh, july um 8th and 9th july 8th is the is the dinner we're going to have a dinner on um at gates for country club right. and then july 9th is the golf tournament and they can How go much to are the tickets for that dinner you know uh that, right? i don't know i'm looking at athena i think it's uh 25 dollars per person and maybe 45 dollars per couple uh -huh. and uh, we'll have hors d'oeuvres and we'll yeah. have uh, uh dr mancini will be performing that night with his band right, which will good. be a great time and it's a beautiful clubhouse and those you... tickets will be made available for sale so people can get them yeah we're going to be it's it'll be on the website right. uh, the stand the man foundation i think yeah. it's www.standthemanfoundation.com mm -hmm. dot Org, dot org, org. I'm sorry. Dot org. org. Yeah. 
And then you can get uh, probably we'll probably have them at Nelson Nelson any of the locations. Yeah. You can right. stop by and, and buy tickets for it as well. So it's going to be a great day, and we hope that this one is uh, is a big big night. They also have a Facebook page, so mm-hmm. you can you know go on to Facebook, Facebook, friend them. They'll friend you back, and you can get all the up to date information. information. Uh, my wife manages that, so good. Yeah, she uh, right. she keeps that up to date. Athena. Um, yes, my wife Athena. Athena. That's she's in the studio making sure yeah. we don't. Uh, make any mistakes right, right. <laughs> that's right don't say anything we don't we don't want to say um but also the special operations communication association contacted me as well so they'll be coming to the golf tournament and uh um and they're a pretty active group as well